Greetings, Cyclones. Nanu, Nanu. Welcome to another episode of Cyclone Watch. It's October. That means we're almost halfway through the semester. So things are getting pretty hectic. Take a break in the workspace and make rainbow necklaces. The walk-in craft this week. The cost is $6 and the craft is hosted by members of the ISU Pride Summit to raise awareness for National Coming Out Day on October 11th. Because it's October, that also means fall is upon us. It's the calm before the snowstorm. So, in honor of fall, we have a new segment, Sci Watch and Weather. Jordan, give us the update. Hi Cyclones, welcome to the segment Sci Watch and Weather, where we are always on the watch for some seasonal events and weather conditions. It looks like it's finally going to get chilly after last week's hot spell. This week is going to be mostly cloudy with predicted rain on Wednesday. The average temperature for the week is going to be in the 60s. So it's officially sweater season! With this typical autumn weather, we might as well just fall into fall. Get it? Because it's like fall into fall, it's a pun. Yeah, we get it. To start off October right, go hop on the Pumpkin Express train. Scenic Valley Railroad is having a special round trip train ride to their pumpkin patch, where you will then be able to select your very own pumpkin. The cost is $17 and the train leaves at 10 a.m. this Saturday. Come see the changing leaves and enjoy the weather this upcoming weekend. Keep it cool, Cyclones, keep it cool. Back to you, Silas. Thanks, Jordan. ISSO is hosting another event with the ISU Outdoor Recreation Program. There will be a horseback riding trip this Saturday, October 10th. The activity includes a short drive down to Riverside Camp in Story City, and there will be an hour-long horseback ride trip around Skunk River. Afterwards, we'll saddle down for a barbecue. There's only room for 10 people to participate on the trip, so it's a first-come, first-served basis. No horsing around. Sign up today. Now let's get the inside scoop from Catherine. Howdy, Catherine. Tell us what's going on this week. Sure thing, Silas. Attention, meat lovers. There's a sizzling event happening this Saturday, October 10th. Iowa State University is hosting Bacon Expo in the Hanson Agriculture Learning Center from 11 to 3 p.m. Attendees can snack on bacon strips and unique bacon items. Past years have featured foods such as bacon cupcakes and chocolate covered bacon. Come to learn more about Iowa's pork industry. The cost is $10 for an advance ticket and $15 at the door. Don't eat meat? Then don't worry. Head on down to Ames Main Street to the farmer's market. There is seasonal fresh fruit, vegetables, cheeses, plants, and even live entertainment. The farmer's market runs every Saturday for the rest of the month. The hours are from 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The Farmer's Market really brings the Ames community together. Also bringing the community together is the Run for the Roses. This race is a 10K or 5K run that benefits the Arthritis Research Grant. The proceeds help to discover a cure for arthritis. The cost covers the admission and an omelet breakfast after the race. The run is on October 11th. You can register online via Access Plus under Campus Organization Events. Go help make a difference while having fun. That's what's going on in the Ames area this week. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Catherine. Ames is a really fabulous community. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? There are many chances to find a group of people with the same interest as you on or around campus. Speaking of that, this Saturday, the ISU Chinese Students and Scholars Association and several other Asian student organizations will be hosting the third annual Asian Idol. Asian Idol is a performance-based talent competition, and it is an excellent event for cultural entertainment for all ages. The competition assembles students who want a spotlight while meeting lots of friends with the same hobby. Sing your way to the Great Hall at 6 p.m. on Saturday, October 10th. The price is only $5, $5 a ticket. And you can purchase the tickets at the East Student Office located on the first floor across from Panda Express. There's never a boring moment on campus. <laughs> well, that's all for this week, mostly because I have some student assistants that I have to go boss around. Check out some of the events and have a groovy time. This has been your Cyclone Watch. <laughs>